Today's video is brought to you by the letter W and the number 44. Why? I just picked them randomly. back to the Tacomaholic channel everybody it is a beautiful Monday so we're gonna have a fun video today if this is your first time stopping by please consider subscribing if you love everything and I mean everything related to Tacomas and before we jump right into the video time for a quick shameless merch plug as some of you are aware I do have the first batch of the Tacomaholic hat available in the Tacomaholic shop linked right down below intro pricing on these is just $19.99 shipped within the United States and Canada you live outside of the US and Canada, just send me an email to see what the shipping would be. Regular price on these is gonna be $24.99, so 20% intro discount. Now for the first batch, this is just sort of a test run. I have black hats, gray, navy blue, and white. I have 15 of each, so if you are interested, don't wait too long, go ahead and grab them. And depending on how well these do, I will branch out with more colors in the future. So if you are interested in getting a hat, but you just don't like one of the colors you see before you, also comment below, let me know which color you would be interested in. And these are one size fits all with a Velcro strap backing. As always, thank you so much for your support for anything you buy in the Tacomaholic shop. So if you guys are new to the channel or if you are a longtime subscriber and it just slipped your mind, my truck is wrapped in a vinyl wrap. It's pretty much a giant sticker that covers every surface area that had paint on it, except currently for my gas lid. It is a black truck underneath, but I went off-roading about a year and a half ago and got a ton of nasty scratches and as you guys know, black magnifies all that damage and it was certainly an eyesore now to be fair i was planning on wrapping my truck regardless of getting all those beautiful natural pinstripes and getting them actually just sort of made me bump that up on the list of things to do to the truck so i did get the truck wrapped i think it was february of 2018 so a little over a year now and one of the questions i get asked all the time is how is the wrap holding up after a year because i'm sure Probably not most of you are interested in getting a wrap for your Tacoma, but I know some of you are, so this is certainly a great way to go. And I'm sure some of you are like, well, why didn't you just do like paint correction on all those scratches? Well, despite being mall rated as some of you claim I am, I do get off road quite a bit, at least on a monthly basis to some pretty heavily forested trails. It's not like we have deserts and dune running around here in Northern Virginia. So I do get on some tight trails where there's quite a bit of branches sort of overlapping and scratching. Case in point, look at the side mirrors right here. Look at those nasty scratches and these have only been on the truck for a few months. So if I did go the paint correction route, like just doing it myself, fixing all the clear coat or, you know, just getting a whole truck repainted. Every time I go off road, there's going to be stuff to fix and it's just going to be a pain. So I decided to give the truck a wrap just for the added protection of the thickness of the wrap, which has done a fantastic job, and of course, to make my truck stand out for you guys. So I will be going over specific areas of the truck, showing you guys little imperfections that have developed over the last, I guess, 13 or 14 months. Now, one of my favorite things about the wrap is I'm literally like six feet away from the truck right now, and you really can't see any of the scratches, and I am in full sunlight. I can see some of them actually, but I'm gonna zoom in. Like my biggest scratch I know is there is right here on the hood. Not sure if it's gonna show up on camera. It starts probably about right here and sort of slopes back. So I can zoom in and show you guys. It's coming up on the camera here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it. But right here, you can see that nice long tree scratch. And incidentally, everyone I went off-roading with that day has the exact same scratch in a very similar area depending on how we approach that. So even that scratch, and that's a dark scratch, it really doesn't show up. You have to just be at the sunlight just right to get the angle. So that's one of my favorite things about the wrap. Not only does it give you the protection for the paint underneath, but it hides scratches very well. 
And of course, since I have like a light to medium matte orange, if I chose a different color, it might have hid the scratches even better. But let me zoom in here on the front fender. You can see, I mean, there are scratches all over the place, but they really don't show up. I'm trying to get the camera angle so you can see with the sun reflecting. Now, of course, after I just got the truck wrapped, I tried to baby it, but you know, Ain't nobody got time for that! So I just decided to say to heck with it and enjoy my truck off-road, regardless of the damage I get on it. And as far as where the wrap actually meets the paint or, you know, there's like a seam, I got the doors open where you can see and I even have some dirt in here, so stuff is getting in here, but the whole seam around all my doors is still nice and crisp. No peeling going on at all, you can see right there. And then moving to the front door. Same story, the line is still nice and crisp, nothing peeling going on. And actually the only place I'm really getting any significant peeling is both tail lights. Right there at the top, a uh, little bit, but even still, the edge is peeling right here, but I probably still have about a quarter inch to a half inch where the wrap is solid before it starts folding over right there. And same story on the other side, actually. And the place where I got my truck wrapped, they actually said I could come back anytime and get any of this stuff. Like, I guess they'd whip out the heat gut and sort of reseal it. But I have just been a little bit too busy to get that taken care of, so I might have to go in there, swing by, and give them a visit, get some of this addressed. But aside from that, I don't really have any peeling at all. All right, everyone, so that was a fun, quick update video for you guys about the condition of my wrap here about 14 months later, and I have put it through the ringer. Like I said, despite some of you thinking, all I do is drive around the mall parking lot. So if you are thinking about getting a wrap for your Tacoma, first of all, let me know what color you want down in the comments below. And rest assured that, you know, even if you get off-road and have fun with your truck and use it for truck stuff, the wrap is pretty strong. Of course, if you go with a good material, I think usually the Avery and the 3M vinyl wraps, vinyl vehicle wraps, are the best to go with. Of course, going to cost you a little bit more, but this is something you definitely don't want to skimp on. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Don't forget to swing by the Tacoma Hollock Shop and grab a hat while they still last if that does interest you. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.